Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In today's video I will try to explain how and when to use scratch block which is named set drag mod. Um, this scratch tutorial is coming after a long pause so I think in uh, 2023 uh, I will be more, much more active on uh, terms of making uh, Game Maker, Scratch and other tutorials, so let's get into Scratch. I'm using Scratch desktop version, so it's a Scratch application which is installed on my desktop top computer, but uh, the features of it are the same as the one on internet browser, so it's the same as the scratch.mit.edu site uh, it's same functionality but uh, the reason I'm not using the one uh, on the internet is because the game which I was making while explaining all of those scratch block become um, massive and messy and big and so on so I don't want to confuse you with all of that it's much much simpler to use some um, basic simple example like this so all I have on my screen is one simple backdrop which you can use by clicking on choose backdrop and clicking on blue sky or whatever you backdrop you like and the scratch uh, cat sprite which is there by default when you make scratch projects so I have added some code on scratch cat but we don't need that for now so let me now go straight to the point what is drag mod what means draggable and how to see that in scratch first of all i need to click on this full screen control and um, if you have that button do that also because that's very very important for explaining what drag mod is what draggable is um, drag mod means that you can click and drag scratch sprites on the screen while the game is playing so once again while the game is playing that is very very important and i will explain uh, other possibilities uh, not to confuse you now so i'm now playing the game i have click clicked on this full screen control i have clicked on this go button it is very simple game uh, my player char character can move only left and right scratch cat can move left and right while I press the left and right arrow and that's it nothing complex nothing to do on the screen other than that but what draggable is as I said if I click on my cat character and try to drag it it's not possible so I cannot click on the cat hold the mouse left left mouse button and drag move left right up and down and nothing happens that is cool that is great that is most of us want for our games we don't want our player to click on the stuff on the screen and, and drag it left and right so by default the draggable mode is off it's not on it's off and you will uh, want that for the most of your games some examples and I will show that now of where you maybe need draggable mode on is uh, for example for card games where you want to click and drag cards on the table like poker game or some uh, might and magic card game or clash of clans or a dress up game where you want to click on clothing and drag it on the character and then character is dressed um, maybe some strategy games, maybe some inventory where you click and drag into your inventory or crafting table or something like that. So let's see that in action. I will uh, click on uh, hide to hide the cat and I will add a couple of more sprites to, um, to uh, try to explain this drag when it's on. So we have seen that uh, by default it's off and that's what you like that's what you will need for the most of your games but uh, um, let me for example I can have a 
I will copy duplicate couple of those so imagine and I will uh, yeah I will hide my backdrop to see this more clearly and I will duplicate this so I have three cards on the table and I will go to the costumes and draw simple um, simple numbers so maybe this is card number one with the value number one this one is card with the value number nine and this one is seven okay so we have three cards uh, maybe it's a poker game maybe it's uh, some kind of fantasy card game whatever it is so when I go to my full screen control and when I click and drag this card I cannot move it so um, I'm not sure how it's called uh, the game which is made by Blizzard Hearthstone or something like that where you click and drag cards to fight with other card players so imagine something like that so it's not possible for us to do that so we have to code it we have to say I want this card to be draggable so this is finally what we are trying to explain here after six minutes okay so I want this to be draggable or not draggable by default it's not draggable so I want to change it and I want to do that uh, for for how long I want to do that when the game starts so when the game starts and I want to do that for how long forever I want my card to always be draggable okay so I have that with card number one I will start play uh, and now it's draggable yeah you see this yellow border that means that scratch is reading this code and it's applying it to the sprites so this one is draggable and those nine and seven are not so that's what draggable means I can click and drag it and I can overlap it like this uh, uh, so maybe uh, in a card game it can be my card number one is fighting number nine or something like that or it, maybe it can be um, crafting so you combine craft elements or inventory you put you put a, a sword or a potion into inventory like this and you will have to code the other stuff uh, this will have to snap to show on the inventory button and something like that but you can see how it's easy to make that uh, draggable and again I have made some examples where you can use that so I'm trying to copy this now not here but why is this so no uh, yeah okay I can do it like like uh, it's short code I'm not sure why it's not copying but uh, when click forever set drag mode to draggable I'm doing the same stuff same code for the number nine card just to have two cards on the screen I'm going to full screen mode I'm going to play the game and yeah so I have two cards now and again it can be strategy game it can be whatever you want and this one doesn't have the code so it's not working with the number seven it's simple as that um, this was explanation of what uh, draggable mode is and how by default it's not on so by default every sprite on the screen is not draggable like this number seven like this cat and so on so you have to so you have to do that by code and the same goes with the game which we were making here again it's much more complex so I didn't want to confuse you here but for example I cannot click on the tree here and drag it up and down or this butterfly or this rock because by default they are not draggable so that's what I want for my games mostly uh, sometimes when you want to make card game or uh, inventory draggable you just add this code but there are other things which I want to 
explain uh, now uh, which can confuse you in future and that's why uh, left that for the end okay uh, once again uh, I said a few moments ago I said when you want to play the game go to full screen control here and then start this green button why because uh, if it's not like that if you're coding like here and you start your game and look at this now I have started my game with the go button uh, I will go to my um, button number four which is seven number seven on it so uh, uh take a look on the button number seven here so when i go to play mode with the full screen and i try to move it try to drag it it's not working so that's cool that's what i want that's how it's supposed to be and i understand that i like that everything is cool but the problem is here when i go to uh minimized gameplay view like this and i have a code on my left i have my coding window in the middle game is running you can see that by scratch is reading this with this yellow border so it's running as it should but the problem is here the game is running and i will try now to click on number seven and it moves so what happens now uh, did my button number seven did it become draggable let me go to full screen mode no it's not draggable in full screen mode so why is it draggable in minimized resized game mode because when you go into this minimized screen mode you are actually coding and developing the game the same time as you have been playing it so you're at the same time you're developing making code and adding sprites and playing it so it can be confusing because those two um, actions are different and should be different you should be first developing your game then go to testing mode and to be sure that you're testing it's mm, the most sure way is to go to full screen control play and then start it otherwise you can get confused here because you are here coding developing like that and you start the game play it and you click and drag and it, okay maybe you will think okay i have added code for dragging but you actually didn't you're just now uh, switched from game mode into development mode the moment you have clicked on the screen the scratch now thinks you are changing the position in development mode and that is only in development mode when i go to game mode it's not available so i just wanted to to be precise and to explain you those two differences and those are very very important in uh, game development and they are also visible in uh, other game engines like uh, unity or uh, game maker studio or unreal and so on so in unity you have two windows one like this for development and the other like this for games so you don't confuse them and you cannot switch like this uh, uh fast and and do some stuff by accident same in game maker if you want to switch from game development mode to testing mode you have to go uh like this on play button but then then you cannot i cannot do this in some game engine uh, like uh, okay i'm planning playing the game and now i'm developing the game so uh, uh some game engines won't let you do that and i think it's good uh, scratch lets you do that that's maybe confusing for some of uh, beginners again don't confuse this code set draggable mode uh, which works in game mode with dragging these sprites on your screen while you are developing so okay i will hide those couple of those and show you that on scratch cat example because maybe it's uh, maybe it's uh, much simpler to explain okay so for example uh imagine you have you're developing your game and um, you have a couple of backdrops here for your game uh, because it's still in development and um, 
you're not sure which one you're going to use so okay you're making your game and you say okay i will use this backdrop number five which is boardwalk and my cat will walk like this on it okay so that's all cool and it looks fine it works fine okay but later in development or maybe you have some new idea and you have you say okay no i don't want to use um boardwalk backdrop i will use instead blue sky so uh, now my cat looks like floating in middle air so i don't want to do that and i cannot change that in game mode and i'm not supposed to do that game mode is game playing mode not development mode so all i have to do is click here when i'm in resized small development window mode and click and drag it to the bottom and now or if you want the cat to fly go in the sky like this but anywhere where you would like the cat to be and that's it uh, but again that's nothing connected to draggable mode in game so again when i start my game in game view if i click on the cat and want to drag it in the game it's not working if i want to do that i will have to say okay when my game starts forever make a loop forever with what with drag mode is draggable so now my cat is draggable in game view mode so when i click for the game to start and try to drag it it works so um just be aware of those two different uh environments one is game environment when you are playing the game and other is when you are developing they are not the same in terms of you can click and drag all the time when you are developing but if you want to be able to click and drag in the game when it plays you have to add this set draggable mode and again a couple of um, uses for uh, that for our inventory dress up game card games strategy games and so on uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching and um, see you in next uh, next one uh, next few videos will be scratch related and uh, tutorials about scratch blocks we have a few blocks left and that's it bye for now